Hello, I'm going to provide an example of how students could use Digo in the classroom. Now, as a technology coordinator, one problem that we always face is student printing that is unnecessary. So for this activity, if I was the teacher, I'm going to give my students an opportunity to organize their research without printing every page on the internet. So, how do I do that? First of all, you have to sign up for Digo, which we already did. Now we're going to sign in. Sign in with our username and password. You can tie it to Google if you have a Google Apps for Education account at your school. Okay, now once you're in, you're going to go to My Library and it'll have all the bookmarks that you've bookmarked um, as you go through. You can also add them as you browse using a Chrome extension. And since in my school district, since we use Chrome, the Digo extension is right here in the Chrome extensions where you'll be able to highlight bookmark, sticky note, or share a site. So, for this one, all we want the students to do is to bookmark and highlight the different websites that they're going to use for their research project. So, all we have to do now is start our research like we would normally do. And 95% of students start their research where? At Google. Why? Because it's familiar to them. So, we're going to pretend that I'm doing my project on Henry Ford. Okay, now that we've searched for Henry Ford, I'm going to pick a source that looks reliable. Okay, there's a .org, so that looks pretty reliable. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to find my first piece of information that I want to include in my research project. Okay, we're going to need to know when he was born. So Henry Ford, born July 30th, 1863. So he was born then, and I want to highlight that and add that to my resources. So I'm going to click my Digo extension up here in Chrome. I'm going to click the highlight arrow. I'm going to choose my color of highlighting, green. Then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to highlight that information. Now, when I'm done highlighting, this menu automatically pops up. And all I have to do is click highlight. Boom. Now it's highlighted and saved into my Digo account. The only, or one easy way to check this is to go back to my Digo account on digo.com. Sign in. Okay, look at that. It's got my timestamp, when I did it, and it's got the website that it's from, and the note annotated. Now this is an easy way for students to save facts with the sources so they can use citations. Digo, very cool tool for research, studying, and paper savings.